hello everyone welcome to my channel if you have not already subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel today's topic is about changing all the visits of a patient to missing only if the first visit is missing we can understand this by looking an example below in this example we have three variables and those are patient id visit sbp and for patient id we have two patient ids that is 100 and 101 and our goal is to make sbps of a particular patient missing only when the first visit is missing and you can see from the result in here that when sbp for 100 is missing for first visit then we are making all of them as missing whereas in the case of patient id 101 the first visit sbp is not missing so those values stay as they are now let us quickly look into the data preparation here we have our data preparation using the data step in here the data is already sorted by patient id and visit if the data was not sorted to solve this problem we need to sort this data by patient id and visit now let us look into the next aspect we need to learn or know to solve this problem that is concept of first dot variable and last dot variable earlier i have made a video on the similar topic in much detail and the link for the same i will provide in the description below using by group in data step creates two temporary variables and those are first dot variable and last dot variable for this topic all we need to know is to understand what is first dot variable and that's what i am going to cover and here we have our data step in which i am using by variable and my by variable is patient underscore id i am using a put statement so that i can see the values of patient id visit sbp and also first dot patient underscore id in the log and here i am not creating a new data set that's why i am using data underscore null underscore and let's quickly look into the log in the log if we see here for the very first row or observation we can see that patient underscore id is 100 and visit equal to visit 1 sbp equal to missing and first dot patient underscore id is 1 which means this is our first underscore patient id 1 and 0 representation generally means true or false and first dot patient id equal to 1 indicates that this is first dot patient underscore id and for patient underscore id 100 the next two observations the first dot patient underscore id equal to 0 which indicates that this is not first dot patient underscore id whereas if you look into 101 the first observation wherein patient underscore id equal to 101 visit equal to visit 1 sbp equal to 111 and first dot patient id equal to 1 this indicates that this is our first dot patient id and if you see other observations the first dot patient id is zero so from this what we can understand is whenever we have first dot patient underscore id equal to 1 indicates that this is the first observation for by group that is for by patient underscore id and now let us see how we can use this logic to do things for us and what we can do here is we can use this in if statements we can write if first dot patient underscore id equal to 1 then we can do some kind of action 
this can be again little bit more simplified as if first dot patient underscore id then some action this some action could be anything which we want to do and now let us try to implement this logic to solve our problem here i am using if first dot patient underscore id then sbp underscore new equal to sbp that is i am creating a new variable sbp underscore new when it is only first dot patient underscore id and also i am retaining this value and i am doing this by using a retain statement here wherein i say retain sbp underscore new so if first dot patient underscore id then sbp underscore new equal to sbp so what happens in here is it is going to read sbp from the first observation only and as we are retaining this value it is going to retain and once it has retained for patient underscore id 100 as we have if first dot patient underscore id then sbp underscore new equal to sbp now when we are into patient underscore id 101 it will be reading the value of sbp and will be assigned to sbp underscore new and retain sbp underscore new will make the value of 111 to be retained to all other observations for patient underscore id 101 now we are pretty close to solving our problem now let us look into the final step where we are going to solve this problem here we are going to do one extra step that is we are going to assign the value of sbp underscore new to sbp only when sbp underscore new is missing that is we are going to assign all of these values of missing to sbp when these are missing and we are not going to do anything when this value is not missing and we are doing that with the help of code in the form of if sbp underscore equal to missing that is if sbp underscore new is missing then sbp equal to sbp underscore new which is going to overwrite these values and also we are going to drop sbp underscore new as we don't need anything more to do in here with sbp underscore new to sum it up whole thing i have also added our initial data set the initial data set which we have by using if first dot condition and also by doing retain what we did was we created a new variable and whenever we had the first dot patient underscore id was missing we converted that value to all the values to missing for that particular patient id and by using this logic we went ahead and we overwrite this sbp value with sbp underscore new and we have converted into our final result as we wanted that's all for this topic if you have liked this topic please give it a thumbs up share and subscribe thank you